Let's go. Can't nobody hold us down. Can't nobody take my crown. World Series, baby! Yeah! Game one of the World Series getting going here tonight. I got her going yesterday, 2-0 to start the week. So let's hope to carry that momentum into today. And let's get right into the action where I will take the Houston Astros to win game one of the World Series tonight. Coming in at minus 129. So Framber Valdez on a man. You gotta love this guy, right? Framber Valdez. Absolute beauty here. And this guy's putting together a pretty good postseason resume. A 2.77 career playoff ERA for Valdez that's in 39 innings pitch and that's a better run lower than his career number in the regular season the Astros are six and one in playoff games that he's pitched in including a perfect three and oh so far this season in these playoffs the Astros I give them the edge when it comes to clutch hitting they're getting it done with runners in scoring position coming in with an OPS in the playoffs of a thousand twenty four Meanwhile, the Braves coming in at just 758. Then we take a look at some home away hitting splits. No big shock here. The Astros taking care of business at home and OPS of 836 at home in the playoffs. Braves 686 on the road. Not very good and it's not easy to go into Houston and pick up a win versus the Astros. Astros on a pretty good run here at home coming into the World Series. 16 and six in their last 22 games at home. So I'll take them to win game one of the World Series. Next up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take all of our eggs and basically put them in the one basket here because Framber Valdez, a man who I have a lot of respect for, apparently sports books do not, uh, disrespectful number on his strikeout prop. It is at four and a half and they have the audacity to put this at plus money and the over. So I'm gonna take the over, boom, plus 120. What is going on here? This number, dare I say, is an insult. He's gone over four and a half strikeouts in 11 of his last 14 games. Braves are striking out at a very high percentage here in the playoffs, a K percentage of 30.4. Now to put into perspective how high that is, how bad that is, the Cubs had the highest strikeout percentage during the regular season at 26.7. Braves at 30.4, and like I talked about, he might be a big game pitcher, you know, at 2.77 career playoff ERA. He's top four and a half strikeouts in five of seven playoff appearances. Valdez, how about a little respect? And speaking of respect, there's a man down in San Antonio, Texas, and he's gonna be playing a little bit of basketball tonight. And the name of this man is Jacob Pertl. And I have the ultimate respect for this man, and I urge you to show this man some goddamn respect as well. I will show him the ultimate respect and take the over on his points plus rebounds prop coming in at 18 and a half minus 120 on the over. So he's averaging 22 points plus rebounds through three games here this season. Should have plenty of opportunities versus the Lakers who are struggling to defend the paint along the second most points in the paint per game. That's where Pirtle's gonna get a lot of his looks and he's gonna have a lot of opportunity to just opportunities, excuse me, to grab some rebounds. The Lakers are in the bottom 10 and rebounds allowed this season. You can Pirtle, how about a little bit of goddamn respect? Next up, the biggest underdog of the night. It is the Houston Rockets plus 10 and a half in Dallas the Battle of Texas to take on the Mavericks here. I'm gonna take the Rockets to cover this number, plus 10 and a half, so some early bright spots for the Rockets. It is early, small sample sizes. Some of this stuff will continue, some of it will not, but I'm going a bit off of what we've seen so far, and I like a few things that I've seen from the Rockets here. Five different players averaging double-digit points this season including Jalen Green, who of course is coming off that 30 point game. Uh, their fourth overall in three point shooting percentage, sixth overall in effective field goal shooting percentage, allowing the fourth fewest points in the paint. So not a lot of easy looks for the Dallas here. And they're grinding, picking up the fourth most second chance points per game. Meanwhile, some uh, dreadful shooting here for Dallas. Some ugly looks here on the offensive end of the court. 29th in effective field goal shooting percentage, 27th in free throw attempt rate. You know, they should get better, hopefully not tonight, but either way, that's an ugly start under Jason Kidd. Something I like here quite a bit, the Rockets are finishing strong. They're not just giving up, right? Uh, plus 7.7 .7 point margin in the fourth quarter. That is the second best in all of the NBA. So that's a very important stat to keep in mind with this big spread. So potential of a backdoor cover uh, and taking care of business and garbage time potentially if needed. Hopefully it does not come to that, but either way, Rockets plus 10 and a half. So there you have it. My best bets for Tuesday. Drop your best bets in that comment section right down there. Give this video a like if you like it. Make sure you are subscribing to this channel. Good luck with your bets tonight, unless you are fading me in as always. Keep chasing that paper! Woo!
Trump. Let's go. Can't nobody hold us down. Can't nobody take my crown. My mic, my light, my sound. What you talking about? I run this town. Invincible like rocket. Can't name none of what 